Hi, I'm Darren Lockton, the head chef of the Queen's Court Hotel, and today we're going to make some mulled wine. So the ingredients we need are two bottles of red wine, some brandy, 250 grams of caster sugar, an apple, a lemon and two oranges, two star anise, nutmeg, five cloves and a cinnamon stick, one vanilla pod and three bay leaves. So the first thing we need are the caster sugar and we're going to peel the zest of one orange, the zest of one lemon, then we're going to add the juice of two oranges. Now I'm adding the cinnamon, the cloves, the star anise, and I'm going to grate about half a nutmeg. Three bay leaves go in, and I'm going to split the vanilla pod. straight down the middle and just scrape out the seeds and add the vanilla pods. To that I'm going to add about a quarter of a bottle of wine. Now we're going to put this on the stove and make a syrup. Okay we've been cooking the syrup now for about 10 minutes and you can really smell the, uh, the Christmas spices in there. It's all the same sort of spices you'd find in a Christmas pudding or a Christmas cake or even a mince pie. So you can tell the syrup's ready because it's got really close, small popping bubbles. So what we're going to do now is add the rest of the wine. So one and three quarter bottles of wine. We're now adding a good splash of brandy. And I've simply just sliced up the green apples and we're just going to add that. Now what you want to do is put this onto a low heat and you just want to uh, warm it up. And it's very important not to boil it because if it comes to the boil you'll burn off the alcohol and there'll be no kick. Okay, so I've been gently heating this for about 10 minutes and then I like to leave it to stand for a further 10 minutes just to make sure it's all really well infused. So what we're going to do now is just strain off. I'm just going to add a couple of the apple slices into my serving bars. And that's the mulled wine ready. Perfect for a winter's morning or Christmas day. Cheers.